to my Animal Crossing Island tour. My island is called BLB Island. Basically, BLB stands for beef, beef, <laughs> beef, lima beans. So beef is kind of related to my boyfriend. Lima bean is the name of the group of like me and my siblings. But yeah, so my island is BLB Island. I hope you guys enjoy. Welcome to BLB Island. Look at my <laughs> look at my island flag. <laughs> my theme-ish, not really is Spirited Away because I really love Studio Ghibli and that's supposed to be no face. <laughs> it's supposed to be like a pastel cutesy no face kind of deal but um it kind of looks like an Adventure Time character. My outfit I try to match with my Animal Crossing character so obviously I have a bun. I have this like cardigan and like a black turtleneck. I added some jewelry because I like accessorizing here. I'm wearing like mom jeans. Let me mom jeans wow <laughs> and i don't have shoes on because i don't wear shoes in the house i really like this green knitted backpack you literally just make it out of weeds <laughs> but i like the green and pink contrast a lot since i'm not wearing shoes i'm actually wearing these animal crossing socks that my friend gave me they're so cute and it's pink which is my favorite color if you couldn't tell already <laughs> but yeah okay now let's actually get in to the island. All right, so when you enter, there is like this airport-esque railway thing. And I added a little welcome sign right here. And then I have some gifts for anyone who comes. There are some benches right here, some iron garden benches. I added these little hedges. I had this little fountain right here. I have some gifts, pink gifts. I really like this decoration. And even though it's not Christmas anymore, I wanted to keep them because they're cute. I have these public benches right here. So if you wanted to wait for your appointment in the residence services, then you can wait right there. We have some vending machines for you. We have KK Slider here with us today. Thank you, KK. We really appreciate everything that you do. And then over here, I have uh, the Mario pipes. I accidentally bought too many. So if anyone wants to take them, you can also take that as well. I have DIY stands. Go ahead and take them if you don't know them already. I have apples and an apple pie because my island fruit is apples. So I thought it would be a really cute idea to make it like a welcoming thing. Like, oh, welcome to my island. Here are some apples. Most quality apples that you can get. <laughs> Another DIY stand. It's the same over here with the gifts, the benches. Over here, I have apple trees just like lining all the way across the town residence hall area. Okay, so in my journal, I have a whole island tour planning thing. And it's actually called the plaza or named it the plaza. So welcome to the plaza. So if you go towards the right over here, as you can see from my pathways, I used garden lanterns and bushes. And I really like these pink bushes. I forget the name of them. So first we'll go towards the beach. So if you go down here, I have these coconut palm tree lamps surrounding the entrance. And oh, hi Roscoe, hello. Over here, I have these beautiful iridescent shell fountains right here. <laughs> and over here, I have the beach house that I am currently working on. Obviously it's not done yet, but it's in the process. And over here I have some coconuts, like a bamboo plant, a drum right here if you just wanna... Yeah. <laughs> I have a little hammock right here. I love how all the colors just kind of blend in together. Over here just have some of the festival items. Do I want to show you the beach house today? No, nah. <laughs> because it's not finished whatsoever. That will be for another video. Let's continue on over to the left side of the beach. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, Ellie. So over here, it's kind of like a, excuse me. It's, it's kind of like a, oh my gosh, wait, can I not go to it? Go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? We're gonna, we're finding a way. Uh, okay. <laughs> So this is like a little dancing area if you want to dance. Oh wait, I want to do that little... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. That is the beach.
each side. Now I have to <laughs> figure out a way to get out. Going over here, let's go past the stairs for now. Over here on the left side is a little sitting area. So um, it's not finished yet because I'm still trying to get enough blue flowers. But basically right here is a little tribute to me, my boyfriend. <laughs> So the blue side, of course, is his favorite color, and then mine is pink. And I did a little bit of a, like alternating colors. So yeah, this would be my seat, and then this would be his seat. I did little heart ponds. Of course, you know, you've seen these heart ponds like everywhere, but I really like it. I think it looks really cute. So I gave in, and I did that as well. But yeah, and then over here, I decorated this part for Valentine's Day for him. It was a little surprise. Obviously, we would be sitting here eating. Little custom designs I made for me and him. I converted the real life pictures through an app that allows you to take a picture and then transform it into a custom design. So that's what I did over here. And I have a little present for him. Um, he forgot to take it, but it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, that is the sitting area. Now, we're gonna go back down towards the stairs that you saw earlier. And this is called the Entertainment District. And basically, if we go down here, I just have ponds surrounding the entrance area with a little well. I have a little sitting area right here if you just want to breathe in and take in the fresh air. On this side, I have a fishing place. Obviously, you can tell that like there's not a lot of fish here <laughs> and not a lot of fish spawn here, which kind of sucks. But you know what's okay. I have fishing rods surrounding the ends over here, a little waterfall, fancy. So if you continue to go up, I had these little vendors, these like food stands. So this one's a sushi food stand. Obviously I got a sushi bento box right here. I have a fish. Take it as you will, might be very morbid. <laughs> Cutting board, all of that. I really like the aesthetic of the sushi stand a lot. Next, I have a pizza stand, of course. If you don't know me, I freaking love pizza. Over here, I have a pizza ready made for you. I have like a condiment stand, a pizza baking oven, some cardboard boxes in the back that have all the cardboard boxes for pizza. At least that's what I'm thinking of. Down over here. Over here, I have bakery stand. I have some cake. So that's the cake from my mom. Some chocolates. As you can see back there, there are some dishes, a mixing bowl, some more cakes. And over here, I got this custom design from someone. They had like an, an amazing idea of making these. I think they're called like outdoor table. And you can customize it and they made it look like ice cream. So I thought it would be a good idea to do that as well. I really liked it as if you can scoop ice cream. And over here is the last vendor, which is a medicine stand. And that is just for me to be able to quickly make medicine just in case one of my villagers are sick. So I have weed right here. I have more weeds growing right here. I have some beehives so that I could just make it quickly a DIY stand. Down here, you can see it's the carnival. Wow. Yeah, so over here I got a bunch of games. Like a jukebox, some cotton candy, popcorn, all these things, fun stuff. Also from the festival, it's pretty cool, I gotta say. Over here, you can win a bear. You can win a bear and you have to get number eight. So let us see, let's see our luck for today. Over here, I have a food court where you can take the food that you got from any of the vendors and sit down, enjoy your food. We also have a little drink stand right here. Like we have coffee, we have juice anything you want here you can perform with your band over here I have a marimba of course I have to it has to be there a drum set and a DJ turntable right now it's playing welcome horizons wow <laughs> next over here if you go down these stairs we have the neighborhood so you can see all of my villagers my lovely lovely villagers so if we start from the left so over here is Marshall's house. Oh, look at him sitting in his little yard. As you will see in the neighborhood, every single villager will have their own like personalized yard. So this is Marshall. He always hits on me, kind of. <laughs> oh, has like these pickup lines. So I made him a little date area. So like whoever he wants to bring on a date, he's gonna bring them to his own house. Over here, we have Ursula. She is a big sisterly type and I made her yard like she likes to craft. 
sewing area. She likes making her own jewelry. This is some of the clothes that she made. Over here on the right, I have Skye, who is a normal type villager, very sweet. Basically, I kind of made an excuse to have a crafting table outside and um, yeah, that just turned out to be Sky's yard. I know it's not super creative, but I try to go along with it by like, oh, she made this bear, she loves plants, she has a sewing kit and all of that. So I still think that's cute. I haven't changed it, so kind of like it. <laughs> and then over here, this is Roscoe. Oh, you guys are talking. Okay, excuse me. Sorry. I need to get through. Okay, so this is Roscoe's house. He is a grumpy villager. He's very new actually, so I haven't been able to make a yard for him. I just have these like purple roses because I don't know, it kind of matched, I guess. We'll see what I do. Guys, move. I can't leave. If you go up here, hi Mint. This is Mint's house right here. She has a little reading area so she can just chill, read a nice book outside. She's so sweet to me. I love her and she's, oh, she's gonna be a permanent resident here. Over here, I have Eric who is a lazy type villager. I also really love him and he is definitely a permanent villager. He loves talking about eating, snacking, and sharing it with his bug friends. So I made a little area where he can sit down, share an apple with his bug friends that I added on this little bench over here. And next one, this is Ellie's house we just saw earlier. And I have a little picnic area for her. This is basically a picnic area for all of us where we can chill, chat with each other, spend time together. And I love doing picnics as you will see later on for other parts of the island. Then over here is Pom Pom. She wants to be a superstar. That's her dream to be a pop star. So I added a little stage for her right here where she can practice her new songs or even hold concerts for us. Sadly, I haven't seen her use or like go here at all. Maybe it's because it's not at the plaza, but it's okay, it's a thought that counts. So if we go all the way up here, we have a little fountain, and these two are probably my favorite villagers. So over here on the left, I have Hamlet, who is an athletic type, and of course, athletic type, he loves working out, that's all he talks about, but he's super cute, he's so round and so adorable, I love him on the right side. I have Flurry, and she is a normal type, and she's so adorable, I picked her up from my sister's island because she didn't want her anymore, and I was like, I'll take her, what the heck? And ever since then, I loved Flurry, she's so cute, she loves studying flowers, so I put a bunch of flowers around her house so that she could herself learn more about them. I add a little bench so that we can just sit here and enjoy nature and just relax. So yeah, that is a neighborhood. And the last part I wanted to show you that's kind of part of our neighborhood is this fashion show. <laughs> this fashion show area. So basically, I do a lot of um, fashion show thingies for my boyfriend. <laughs> I basically just force him to play and I'm like, hey, I want to show you my new outfits or like the new clothes that I got. He's very sweet and supportive about it. Maybe we can have a whole fashion show thing with like my other friends and that'd be a fun time. I don't know. I think that'd be funny. Maybe a video idea later. If you go up here, let's go towards the right. And this is a campsite area. I have a little pond where you can fish. I have a campsite here, obviously. I have a little crafting table. Everyone can just sit around. A little campfire song. I might want to add some more things around here since I have a lot more DIY recipes now. And then over here, I have a little secret picnic area. We have a fridge right here, barbecue. You can sit here and have like a little potluck together. And then over here, it's just like a little relaxing log bench where you can just relax and just take in the ocean noises. So relaxing, yes. And now let's go back to the area and let's go to my garden where I basically throw different types of flowers or just showcase the ones that I have. This is very messy and I obviously don't really know what to do with it, but Maybe I'm gonna add more of these like tulip flower thingies. I have some butterfly figures right here. And fun fact, I actually don't like butterflies. I kind of think they're creepy. I don't know. I think the patterns like, kind of scare me a bit. I don't know. It's pretty sparse right now. 
I took out some of the flowers because I needed it for something. But this is wind flowers. This is Highland Gift. These are mums. Just jump right over. This is tulips, roses, and cosmos. And I don't have a lily patch because lilies are the island flowers. So I just have them kind of as decoration on the side. Here I have a bridge. I This is like the only bridge I have on my island, which I'm kind of sad about because like bridges are really pretty and... I like how people incorporated them into their islands and I'm sad that with my island plan I couldn't have that. I really wanted one so I just stuck it right here and I took a lot of pictures here. So if you go towards here, this is kind of a different way out of the garden area. You guys probably saw like a little pathway after hopping over between the different cliffs of the garden. So if you go down this secret passageway, go down here, what is this? <gasps> Wow, a little secret area. Wow. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to make like bamboo furniture stuff. I obviously haven't really progressed much with this because it's very sparse. I had this bamboo lunchbox. I have a little bench where you can sit and just admire the view. It's so pretty. I really like taking pictures here too. During like the fireworks show in August, me and CJ would like stand right here and like look at the fireworks. And it was like the best place to view them because you could see everything and you can see like your own custom designs. Yeah, just little furniture here and there. Very relaxing. <laughs> I feel like I use the word relaxing a lot in this video. So let's go back the way we came from. Um, over here is like my house area, which I will go more in depth later for another video. Let's enter the shopping district. First one that I want to go over is the Nook's Cranny. You have your Nook's Cranny right here. They have a little fruit cafe area where you can just, I don't want to say relax again, where you can just exist. <laughs> Enjoy a little magazine. I have this little peach and some fruit that you can have over here. I have these fruit trees specifically growing here because I wanted fruit to be able to give to my villagers. And I usually have wrapping paper here, but I forgot to like stock it up. So I'll do that later. But yeah, let me show you up here because this will also be kind of part of Nook's Cranny. But this is my fruit orchard. Wow! So I have large, large rows of fruit. Each aisle has six fruit trees and I have every single fruit that is offered in Animal Crossing. I actually made these fruit signs myself. I kind of used references off of Google like pixelated cherries or like pixelated oranges and I kind of went off of that. And I'm really proud of this orange one, but yeah, I'm pretty proud of these. So if you guys are interested, let me know and I can add it in the description box. So if you go down towards over here, yeah, this is the April Sisters. Uh, obviously these signs I didn't make myself. I got them from another person who made these. I can't exactly remember where I got these from, so I'm really sorry that I can't credit any of these wonderful artists. Please, if anyone knows where these signs are or any custom designs that you see that are familiar, feel free to comment them down below. And I'm sure someone will be really appreciative of you telling that kind of information because these are really nice designs. Like, look at that sign. The heck? How do you make that? I don't understand. But over here, I have the label collection. Hopefully I can add more things later. And on the right side of the Able Sisters, I have some custom designs. Some of them which I made myself. And some of them I've gotten from other people that I really like. Uh, back there is Sable's little corner where she can sew outside if she wants like a breather. And she always works. So I'm like, okay, well, she's not going to give up on working. We can like just bring her work outside. So whenever she feels like suffocated inside the store, she can just sew out there. And right across from the Able Sisters, I had this little picnic area. Since I had this space, I was thinking like, what can I do with it? And I thought another picnic area would be suitable for it. So I had this little ginnum. Am I even saying that right? I don't even know. Over here, you, people can sit underneath the tree and just have some shade and just relax with some nice, wonderful music from this pink record player. Below trash can because, you know, don't litter. If you have trash, Please throw it away, it's right here for you. And lastly, in the shopping district, I have the museum. This is another sign that I didn't make myself, but over here, I try to have fossils spawn in these spots so I can just easily take them, but obviously it hasn't really worked. So I've just been 
manually placing fossils in these in these areas and just not taking them out it's for the aesthetic but yeah if you hop over little stepping stones you can see that in the entrance i try to have like a connecting fossil and on the sides i have fossils as well i forgot to mention i have uh, i have the nova lights in the background and that is for celeste last but not least the part that i didn't go over yet over here i have blb cliffs and i have suit spritz right here and some sakura flowers obviously both custom designs that i haven't made because i'm not that talented i thought it was really cute and it matched really well and it actually looks pretty good like you can clearly read blb and you can read it up to down or down to up like it works out pretty well i'm pretty proud of it thank you guys so much for watching this video like i obviously my island is nowhere near as beautiful or well made compared to other people who did like island tours because like i've seen them and i'm like wow i mine looks nothing like that but you know what we are not here to compare we are here to just appreciate all islands that we have and i worked very hard on my island i spent almost 400 hours on it and i'm pretty proud of it and i really like it so i hope you guys enjoyed it as well and if you guys have any suggestions on what i can change or add in my island i would love to hear them i'm always open to suggestions so obviously i didn't show like the houses that i have so in my next video i plan to do a house tour and even touring the house back at harv's island because i actually decorate that a lot so I always have a theme with that so I would love to show you guys that as well and maybe <laughs> if I'm feeling it I can show you the beach house but I promise you it's not anything interesting but if you guys want it I can always show it to you. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you for taking your time out of your day to join me and look at my kind of nice island. An island that I'm proud of I will say. Much love to you all. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you all next time. Bye!